We're seeing drier summers. We're seeing milder winters. There are droughts um, punctuated by, by large storms. We're seeing uh, different 24-hour, 30-hour, 48-hour extreme weather events. In just about every corner of the world, the industry most impacted by the effects of our planet's changing climate is farming, especially animal agriculture. We're getting um, periods of time, going longer periods of time without rain, but then we've got less forage for the animals to eat. In the Midwest region, we're experiencing a lot of more hot, humid nights, so it's not cooling down at night. Productivity goes down, their feed intake goes down, milk production goes down, their growth rate goes down. We're at a real critical point, I think, in our, our history of ag food production. Learning to plan for and adapt to these climate changes will be key to the industry's survival, whether it's developing drought-tolerant plants for forage or for feed, experimenting with rotational grazing, investing in better cooling and ventilation for livestock buildings, or even breeding animals that are genetically more adaptable to hot, dry conditions. There are a lot of people that are just kind of used to doing things the way that they've been doing them, the way they were taught to. Farmers are understandably really tuned into profitability on the farm. Animal agriculture in a changing climate is a USDA-funded project designed to educate farmers and encourage them to consider climate. They're looking for ways, wherever, whatever information they can find, whatever technology they can use to make them more profitable and maybe reduce their risk. The project is a partnership between five regional land-grant universities across the United States. We provide online learning. We have a website that has all the information on it that we've collected over time. You know, we don't do research. Our project is all about education and primarily educating the people who come in daily contact with farmers. We also do conferences and workshops, regional and national. Dr. Henry is an associate professor at Queensland University. Conferences like the Waste to Worth Conference in Seattle, Washington, draw hundreds of animal ag experts from around the world. Uh, well, we grew up on this family farm. We've been no-tilling there for 25 years. Some farmers were seeing tremendous drought, fires, and severe weather. But mostly those whose major role is to educate farmers were you in that class? and influence their decisions. So we've got engineers, nutritionists, we've got the scientists, we've got the extension people. The challenges that agriculture is facing are so diverse that it takes that diversity of team players to um, actually address the issues. I always welcome the opportunity to learn. And I also want to be able to let people know, you know what I'm doing, what some of us are, are doing, some of the new things that we're trying. The issues affecting animal agriculture and climate change are vast and complex. There are uh, skeptics, there are, there are non-believers, um, but we're not about the belief in climate change. We're about uh, what matters in terms of weather and climate on the farm. The challenge is to communicate those issues in a way farmers understand and accept. The best way to frame our message for improving the science of agricultural production, improving the outcomes for agricultural production, is to understand the perspective of the people we're talking to, understand their values, understand what motivates their decisions. You just talk about adaptation, you talk about profitability, you talk about kind of anticipating what the best scientists are saying about what could happen. Adapting to climate change is only part of the project's message. Considering climate also means reducing farmers' own impact on global warming. Agriculture contributes nearly 9% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. I think they'd be first in line to say if we're part of that problem, we're going to be part of that solution. The Animal Agriculture in a Changing Climate project is a five-year program that will end. But the conversation about climate will go on what we've started here in terms of the education, kind of the framework, the tools that we're using, the website, the online course, I think those will last for a long time, I think, because it's an issue that's not going to go away. Unless people are adaptable, and unless people can think ahead to what's coming up in the future, you're putting yourself in a pretty serious position. Yeah.